I'm sorry, before this video starts, I just need to tell you the reason why it lags so much at some parts is because of, uh, me making a silly mistake of forgetting to set the recording frame rate back to 20, as I usually keep it. And so, since it was recording at 60, my computer was kinda struggling, but enjoy the high frame rate, I guess. Hello, I'm Snazzy Superdog. Don't know why I'm wearing the suit, but I am. And today I will be demonstrating a few differences between redstone and commands. And since it's mostly improvised, well, we'll see how it goes. I'm not that good at redstone. But that's what this video is for. The learning experience. And I think I'm going to use a different world because this one is pretty busted up after things happening. Whether it's this ginormous TNT cannon that just spontaneously combusted before, or this really weird, uh, missile launcher. And yeah, that jazz. Alright, here we go. New world starting up in just a second. And I'm still snazzy for some reason. Can't figure out how to change that. But for some personal reason, this video might be more me learning stuff than you learning stuff, because I'm going to be trying redstone. Interestingly enough, you'd expect someone who loves using command blocks to be the type of person who knows redstone as well, but actually I feel like it's quite the opposite. People who use commands are the people who are too lazy to do redstone. Even though command experts always compliment redstone people, whatever they're called, because they think they're smart, the redstone people compliment command people because they think we're smart. We're all smart in some way, but not in a way ourselves approve, obviously. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is try to construct some sort of piston door. Oh man, I'm going to make some horrible mistakes on this, aren't I? Uh, I'm thinking it goes something like this. Hmm, uh, how does that look? Oh, oh, it's not done. Just a second. Alright, time for the moment of truth. Good grief, it works. Feel a bit babyish taking enjoyment in just a. <laughs> it's just sad that I've almost never done that before. Cool redstone piston door. Well, this looks like it's straight out of 2012. Good grief. Alright, now let's see what that looks like with command blocks. And now for the second moment of truth. This is actually kind of boring. But as you can see, there is no redstone involved here. The liter literally, there's only one redstone block here. Like, by redstone block, I mean ones that you find in the redstone section here. And that would be this lever. It even works if you break the lever and put it back. Um, and... Yeah. So, which one looks better in your opinion? The answer should be obvious. It's definitely that one over there. This redstone one. And the reason for this is, one, you can always expect it to open back up if you break the lever. But this one, if you close it and break the lever, it's basically like locking it. I mean, that sounds better, and in some ways it is. But this one actually looks like it's opening and closing. How can we fix it? Well, I got some ideas. Let's let's experiment with a few more. Uh, and by the way, when I'm comparing the two, I'm a tad biased towards commands. But uh, redstone's cool too. All right, I need some of this action, and then uh. I'm gonna put the command blocks down here again. This needs to be on repeat. And I just realized I'm still recording. Alright, let's see how this works. And... It doesn't. Oops. 
All right, let's try it now. Ha! So would you be able to break this in survival mode? Nope. <laughs> uh. So how this works is it's just constantly creating, or it's constantly making these two blocks white concrete powder as long as this lever is in the powered position. And then otherwise it just takes away the uh, it entirely. Alright, so piston doors are actually a little bit more um, realistic looking than command doors or uh, weird command doors. The next thing I was impulsively intending to do was uh, create like a moving wallpaper almost. So let's see how that looks. And I already know how this one's going to go, actually, from experience. I'm starting to wonder if I'm not thinking this through because perhaps I'm going to reach the piston push limit of, or something. And I might get caught on having to redo something here. I don't have a very good feeling about this, but we'll have to see. Say hello to the king of redstone failure. Oh gosh. Okay, let's see if this works. Three, two, one. Push limits. My favorite. I can use commands here. Oop. There we go. No, let's just hope that works. Moment of truth right now. Oh, what the heck. What's the push limit again? 12? Uh, we'll see if this works now. That's gotta be less than 12 blocks, right? Alright, I think that's 10 blocks per piston. We'll just have to see. What? Oh, come on! It's actually working now. Hey, I got something to work. Very noisy though. I'll give you that much. Alright. Let's shut this thing off. And, uh. Let's, uh, just get rid of the top here. And what the heck was that? Oops. Alright, that looks much better. Yay! Hey, wait, I just got an idea. There we go. That's just sky. Uh, yeah. Never ask me to do that again. Now, this one may look okay, I guess. Sort of. But it just doesn't move very fast. So you know what we need to do? We need to make one out of commands so that it can run at a time, fastest time, of one tick. That's right, frequency, once every tick, 20 hertz. I know for a fact that this one could be much larger, as you can see here. Alright, so I suspect this should work, but I'm, there's a, there is an off chance that it's just going to all shoot into one side and then completely disappear for seemingly no reason. But, let's a go. Very smooth, very smooth indeed. And the funniest part is... You can add blocks to it while it's running. Okay, I guess you could have done that to that too, but uh, once again, I'm biased about it. Interestingly enough, you can't stand on it. So ta-da. And it's going much faster. This runs at 10 hertz. Or actually, redstone in general, that's what I meant to say. Redstone in general runs at 10 hertz, and this stuff runs at 20 hertz. And for all you humans out there, that means 
this runs at 10 frames a second and this runs at 20 frames a second or for all you other humans out there this runs at a rate of 0 0.1 seconds no this can run powering at a uh, one redstone tick which is 0 0.1 seconds and this runs at one game tick which is 0 0.05 seconds and for all you other humans out there this one's twice as fast that should be enough math for you guys you know I could stare at this all day this is this is very it's just satisfying to watch uh, I'll show you the commands alright you can copy those down and then you will got it good luck getting that to work alright so let me get into explaining the uh... well the details of some of this alright so redstone has benefits as, as well as commands do redstone has the benefit of being accessible in survival mode whereas commands are generally not accessible easily in survival mode by getting your hands on some of these in survival mode and actually being able to get into them in survival mode without hacking oh look at this you can't even place these in survival mode so uh good luck to you soup so the benefit of these is their accessibility and actual ease of use I mean these aren't too hard to pick up but commands take years well most of the time anyway it took me several years I've been learning commands since 1.8 and I'm much happier now than I was back then because one I know them better and two they're just so much easier now however these are ten times more satisfying I mean redstone builds can be satisfying just go pop on to some redstoners channel <clears throat> and uh... you know watch a few videos and you'll instantly see the satisfactory uh... factor e but uh... yep commands certainly fill in a spot for people as they can do a lot to manipulate the game's physics though not directly like mods or plugins they are still a much better alternative to those in my personal opinion I'm a creative plus guy no mods and hardly ever any plugins although it would be cool to learn Java for these things I'm more of a um, well let's just say commands are like the basic of Minecraft you have the languages behind this but most users just use basic I've been watching all of the 8-bit guys so uh yeah I know my stuff now thanks to him comparing these two uh, is like comparing two computers you have the fast one that does a lot of stuff and the slow one that you have to kind of assemble yourself assembly language basic that's how I like to put it and in this case of redstone it's almost as if you have the ability to build stuff in Minecraft limited to this although it's more practical and works in a certain way where it allows you to actually visualize what's going on if you tried making a contraption with a lot of moving parts with commands everything would be done in almost an instant if you just have one long line of these chain command blocks it just goes woo all executing at one frame or sorry one tick and it causes things to go as fast as the game is willing to go which is a uh, one tick per uh, change here and this is starting to mess with my eyes actually so I'm turning it off and of course you mustn't forget that redstone can't kill things as easily as commands can 
and I have exhibit A here. See? Well, that's all for this video, or sorry, as modern people say, this vid. And I sincerely hope that you check out the other stuff on this channel because I'm not doing this for nothing and I won't let nothing bother me. And also, I won't let what I just said cause me to have nightmares because I have no idea what I just said. But, as always, all videos must end at some point. And, uh, cheers, mate. Cue the music. Now.